So we've been asked by quite a lot of people, um, how do we get our recorded meetings to appear in OneDrive and SharePoint? Because in many places you might have used to have had these videos stored inside Microsoft Stream, which is quite easy to use, um, quite a nice place for those to be stored. However, in the meantime, uh, since Microsoft announced that change, they've been going into a temporary location where people can download them, they expire after so many days, and there's no option to delete that video, which has caused a lot of issues in, in some cases. So um, I'm going to show you how you can turn on um, OneDrive and SharePoint for storing your meeting videos. Now, if you were going to press the Meet Now button on your calendar, that will go into your OneDrive. And if you were to create a meeting inside a team channel, that will be stored inside SharePoint or inside the Files tab inside that team. So once you've turned that on, that is the location where they'll be saved. And you get a lot more flexibility then. You can uh, decide what you do with those video files, whether you put them somewhere else to keep longer term, or whether you keep them in there or you delete them, it's entirely up to you. And in terms of recording, it works in exactly the same way. So how do we get started? Well, the first thing we need to do is open up PowerShell. And you'll find a link on the Microsoft site, which I'll share in the notes, of how you can turn this on using PowerShell. And you'll see there's, there is some dates here that if you're an education customer, you'll automatically be switched on the 7th of July 2021. But you probably don't want to wait that long. So um, the way to speed this up is to run some PowerShell. So the first bit of the PowerShell is really straightforward. We just copy and paste this and log in as a global admin when it prompts us. Now the second bit is a bit more tricky. You can run this PowerShell command and it will set the global policy to use OneDrive for Business for storing those videos. So you can run that. However, if you do have some custom policies applied to users, then this won't make a difference. It won't actually change it on your tenancy. So to find out, you need to make sure that you're logged into your uh, Teams Admin Center. Find one of your users. So just see which policy is applied, for example, to your teachers. So if I look for a teacher on here, view their policies, and I can see which meeting policy is assigned to them. I can see in this case, it's the all teachers meeting policy. So it won't work until I run this command again, but change global to the all teachers meeting policy. And then after that, it may take a couple of hours to take effect, but if you log out and log back in again, um, you should fairly, fairly quickly see those changes take effect. So once it's completed, um, what you'll find is when you do a recording, it will then say saving to OneDrive as soon as you've finished and you'll get the new option to open in OneDrive. Now, like I say, this is a channel meeting. So if I click open in OneDrive, you'll see that it's actually stored inside the SharePoint site of that particular team. So it's inside the documents folder inside the particular team of this class and I can watch the video in there. Um, or if I go to the Files tab, you'll see that there's a new folder has been created called Recordings. And if I go into there, that's where that recording is stored. And I can always take this, and I, if I want to, I can copy it or move it to a different location, or I could even delete it if I don't want that to be available anymore.